All right, friends, I'm sweating already, but I did shower today. So that means I had to film a video. Today we have a huge, I wish you could see this, it's arm's length, huge fashion overhaul, and it's a good one. So we'll hop right in before my mustache sweats even more. I've been wanting a hot pink workout set for a very long time. So I saw this, they had this in a bunch of other colors. So I got a little three piece set. It's not really a set, but I made it one. So. First we have this sports bra and all these pieces are in that like honeycomb kind of texture that's very popular right now. So crisscross little back, very deep V in the front. You know I'm all about the boobs. So I gotta say, this has like, don't go running in this, but this is great for posing, walking, lounging around the house, very comfortable. But I would say, you know, not great for real sports support, but it does look good. So for my purposes of going for a walk, maybe going for a hike in this, perfect, perfect for yoga. So I really like this. This was, um, I think around $9, which is a steal. I do want to take the little cookie pad out, which I probably will. And I got this in a 1X. And then I went for two bottoms. One is a bike short and one is the pants. So the pants, very basic ankle length, great waistband. I was, you know, doing my usual kick, bend, what have you in these just to make sure they wouldn't budge. Nothing is worse than wearing a new pair of leggings out and them rolling down past your underwear. No one's a fan of that. So I do have to say great waistband. These do have that, um, like a ruching to give you a butt. And I gotta say as someone with absolutely no butt, I still didn't really have one, even though this tried to help. Still very much 1-800-FLAT-ASS.COM. So, you know, they tried. If you have a butt though, this can really accentuate. I just don't have one. So these are the pants, also in a 1X. I wanna say these were around $18. And then the shorts I also think were $9. So I did also get the bike short version. Just so you have, you know, options. I think the pink looks so cute, so I wanted like, outfits so same thing with that like ruching on the butt did nothing for me but if you already have a semblance of an ass this is going to give you an ass just not me i do have to say these are not very opaque so i initially tried them on with my usual huge black underwear and you could see them so i could try it again with a nude probably will um or you could just free ball it in here so i do have to say not so opaque but they are very comfy and these come to a great place on my legs not too long not too short stay where they need to be this is so cute so it looks a little janet jackson rhythm nation kind of costume but the picture looked so cute and once it's on super cute so it's a little fit and flare dress but it's very much covered and you know me my boobs are always out so for me to like cover up it actually worked out really well. So it zips up the entire front. So top to bottom, you might wanna wear a slip or something, but I did feel very secure in this. This zipper is very strong and it stayed, even if you wanted to like, just kinda of let it hover around your boobs instead of all the way up, I think it would stay at the boobs and not come apart as you walked around. So I do trust the zipper. And then at the top, you can close the little mock neck top up here. It comes in at the waist really nicely. There is a tie and then it shoots out very nicely. Nothing crazy, but a nice flow off the body. Super cute, long sleeve, nice and covered. I just thought this looked really cool on the model and I'm very happy that it looked really cool on me too. So this one I got in a 1X. I think it fits perfectly. There is a good amount of stretch. And again, I do trust the zipper. All right, this might be my favorite thing from this haul, a big, cozy cardigan. So I'm not big on cardigans, you know, like a work style cardigan. Just, I think they don't drape well on someone with big boobs, but this one is like a big cocoon. I got it in a two X just so it would be extra big, but you'll be fine if you're my size in a regular one X. It curves at the bottom and it has a huge bat wing kind of effect. Like this is the sleeve. So you're going to have like a very big droopy kind of look. And I like that. I am essentially wearing a blanket when you wear this. They also had this one in gray, but I went for this creamy white. I think that's more grandpa-y, and this is definitely a grandpa sweater. So in the try-on, I paired it with a burnt orange sweater I got from Fashion Nova last year, and those two colors together looked so good. So I am very much ready for it to be a little colder out, as you can tell, and that's definitely a combo I'm gonna do a few times. Okay, next, completely different, I got 
a halter top. Is this inside out? Who knows? Um, I just really like this lilac color and the way it was styled on the model. I'm like, oh, that's a good basic. So I initially tried this on with my strapless bra, but then you could, the V was too deep so you could see it. So then I took it off and it looked a little better actually, just free boob in it. But I just still, my, my boobs are too big. While, while perky, not as perky as they should be if you're going to be wearing, you know, no bra with this. So I probably won't be wearing this too much, but an attempt was made. I really like the color. I just wish there was maybe a little bit more structure, like if the V was brought in a little bit more, or if there was maybe a lining in here just to like give me a shelf to lay on. Um, didn't really work out for me, but I do think it is a cute style. It is a bodysuit, so the back is a thong cut. I was wearing my big black underwear, and um, so it did look a little funny. You won't see it in the try-on, and if you ever wanted to see what this really looked like on me, maybe I'll start a Patreon. This was in a 1X, and I felt like the 1X was fine. Like, a 2X wouldn't have given me more room anywhere. I think the fit of this was fine. Just the boobs, not... Not great. I've mentioned in the past, I'm not big on jeans, but I was like, let's let's try another pair. The two pairs that I actually do wear are from Fashion Nova, so I do like their jeans. I just don't reach for jeans that often. I saw these, they're, you know, distressed. They're supposed to be like a mom cut, like a mom kind of fit. And then what made me pick these as opposed to other mom jeans was the little flare at the bottom. I just thought that was cute. These fit me. I didn't love how they felt though, but I think it's more me not being used to wearing jeans. So all jeans are going to feel weird to me. So I wasn't getting like the mom jean effect from my waist down until you got to my knees. They looked very much like regular jeans. I do have tree trunks as legs, but it was very much fitted throughout there. And then around the knee, that's where it got bigger. Obviously you do have the flare, but it looked kind of funny for it to be like tight and then knee and not in a bell bottom kind of style. Like it just kind of like, ugh. it's like it gave up at my knee. So maybe sizing up would help me here, but I did also find them a little long. I am 5'8", but these were like just hitting the floor. So it did kind of look funny. So once again, an attempt was made. I think they fit good throughout the waist. I did sit down in them and I felt fine. Like nothing rolled, nothing was digging, nothing burst open. So I was fine there. I did get them to 16, which is what my other Fashion Nova jeans are in. I just didn't think um, like maybe throughout the leg it was happening for me, but overall pretty cute. I did try another pair of jeans and this one is more so of an overall style. Um, lighter wash and suspendery kind of straps on the jeans. So higher waisted jean. This one did have like a nice relaxed, relaxed to skinny kind of fit on the leg, but it was consistent throughout. So I really liked how it looked on my legs. It fit really nicely in the waist. Again, not uncomfortable, a little bit more of a higher waist. So I like that. And then it has the straps and you know I love anything resembling an overall or a suspender. So I thought this was super cute. Once again, I paired it with my last year Fashion Nova orange sweater. This I think is also in a 16. 2X, so regular 2X. So while one pair of jeans didn't work out for me, another one did. Okay, more denim, but this time it's a dress. And this one is so cute. I'm so happy this worked out. So me holding this up, you're gonna be like, what the hell? But these two things, right here are gonna tie around your boobs and you know I love that look so it was an automatic yes for me and basically the rest of the dress skimmed off my body very well I do get a little um snugness on my gut but you can't escape my gut so you know it wasn't like tight bodycon but it was a little more it was touching the body but the rest skimmed off really nicely it has the puff sleeves um you could you know play with it off the shoulder on the shoulder i put them on the shoulder and they actually stayed which is good this does have a zipper in the back i didn't use that i stepped right in and was fine and with the tie up you can kind of gauge how tight or loose you want it how much you want to show so i really liked how this all came together but i think this is a really cute transitional fall dress and this one has no size hmm 2x Get the 2x okay finally this one's the um the showstopper of the haul nicole amber actually just got this and hauled it and she looked amazing and then she did like a photo shoot 
in Las Vegas, in the desert somewhere. It looked so good, so expensive. I have yet another wedding coming up next month. And this one is in wine country in California. So I was like, a nice wine colored dress at a wedding. We'll see, cause um, you're gonna see. There's a few not so wedding-y things about this, but it could happen. So a very, very deep V. I was wearing my Torrid bra um, just for the support and I didn't want wires on me when it was hot but I would have to figure out a very deep cut plunge kind of bra situation. I think I have some contenders, but this is very deep. So even with my deepest cut bra, I might need to safety pin at the bottom here. Also, my grandma will be in attendance. Do I really need to be assaulting anyone with my giant boobs at a family wedding? Nah, but they looked really good. Um, it does have shoulder pads, which you're gonna think designing women, but they looked so good. It really, helped with the silhouette of the outfit like really structuring it and not in like a crazy way it just really um let the rest flow nicely i can't explain it but it looked really good and it didn't feel funny and then it's a maxi all the way down there are some slits though at first when i read the reviews online it's like oh you can't even tell there's slits i could they went all the way up so again i might need some fashion tape or um again safety pins because they went all the way up I would like to maybe mid thigh pin it because you've never seen me on a dance floor and I don't think you want to see me on a dance floor because I am whipping, kicking, splits. So I need a little bit more coverage. So I do like the slits, but they are a little extreme. But altogether, this dress is gorgeous. So this one is in a 1X, fits perfectly. Actually gives me a semblance of a waist. So real, really pretty. So I'm happy I saw Nicole get it and then I got it. Okay sweaty but i'm still alive so that's everything everything will be linked down below all my sizes will be linked down below all my links will be down below everything's there and fashion nova always has a promo everything was already pretty cheap but they're always running like 30 percent off so go get you some and if there's one thing you definitely need from this it's that big card again so let me know what your favorites were let me know what your least favorites were like i said i do love comments so talk to me down there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye